Welcome back, Tuesday Night D&D, game on. So you're up, um, about nine-ish. Oh yeah, I could probably get up a bit earlier than that, we've been resting a lot. You had a late rest the night. Oh, true. Yeah, so it's more so just to... That's fair enough, yeah, balance it out. Yeah. Um, I'd like to go see Bjorn Keg's fella. Yep, for sure. I will follow. Yeah. We'll get round. Um, he greets you. He says, ah, great morning, great morning. I have your order ready for you, sirs. Thank you, Bjorn. Fantastic. <clears throat> oh, this looks like fine craftsmanship. He thanks you. Very happy. For your accolade. Very happy. This well, war hammer will do me nicely. Yeah, he, th he believes it will, especially a dwarven forged one, more mm. so. Um, I hope you have a good day, sir. And he th is even etched like a dragon's head on the sides of it. Has it? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's a dragonborn dude. Nice. So yeah. you can even write that down, man. It is the finest weapon I yeah. have seen. Nice. So etched the. It's almost like your head, but a dragon's head on each side of it. You know, yeah. with a bit of burr yeah. coming out. It's done a throw out a breath yes. weapon. So it looks cool. Nothing but the finest. Well, yeah, we shall be sure to return should we require any further. He hopes to hear from his cousin soon uh, with regards to your payment. Yeah, as that's well. fine. Fear not. Yeah. Your money is in the checks in the mail. That's fine. Excellent. On that well, note, oh yeah, that's meta gaming, isn't it? Anyway, yep. Let's go. So you just want to just pretty much head up north. Has everyone got rations and all the shit they need? And I do believe I've got enough for quite a few days. Yeah, I've got ten days worth. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got ten torches. I'm pretty happy with all the things I've got. You ready? To go out in the wild world? Let's work? do this. Let's go. Okay. They're all prepped is what you're telling me. Excellent. Yeah. Leaves by the north all gate. Right. Leave out the north gate. Um, so the who's going to hold the pearl? Or should I hold the pearl? Being the, I'm in front. Yeah, you can hold the pearl. I've written it down. Could be a yeah, good idea. Uh -huh. Cool. So you head out north. Um, once you start to hit uh, that track that led off to. The dwarven mine, yeah. you feel a pull towards that way. The pearl's almost excellent pulling you that way. Yep, you notice a few paces past the turn off, the, the heat of the pearl dims a bit. Okay. Turn, yep, this way. Uh, give us a d12. Much unlucky. Five. All good. Um, nothing passes. You 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 got three quarters of the day to get to the mine, and you keep passing north north or sort of northwest on this trail, and starting to get late afternoon. Maybe think about making camp for the night. It's not like us. Have a rest. <laughs> yeah, what to get jumped in the bush? I'm not getting bushwhacked. And I've heard this story last week. Like, <laughs> should have got jumped in the bushes. Remember? Uh, Surprised they didn't die. I heard all those words last week. Well, look. What if we don't rest? Then that sort of we'd be exhausting ourselves. You can push yourself. <clears throat> yeah. No. Well, I think it's better just I'd rather to not push. rest overnight. Rest. Yeah. yeah. Set up the campfire yeah. so we can yeah. see. So another hours in you. Burn a ration. Find a suitable campsite just off the side of the track. Yeah. yeah. So cross off a ration. Ten. Cool. Set up your um, your guard time now. Who, who's on watch? I'm on blah, first blah, watch. Blah, blah, that's blah, cool. Blah. A second. Yeah. Blah. 
Pirate Steve. Don't forget about Pirate Steve. Yeah. He can do third watch if you want to, you know, or do last watch if you want to go third. Okay. I just need numbers. Yep. First. First, second, Pirate Steve, third, fourth. Last. Cool. Alright. So it's about 12 hour watch then? Sure. Yep. Cool. Again, it's till dawn. Yep. Yep. Just after. Between six and seven. Yep. Yep. Because you've got to still um, meditate, learn your spells, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That takes, uh, was it 10 minutes? Uh, don't quote me. 10 minutes. Per spell level. To prepare? Yeah. Hmm. At oh. least. Um, may even be per spell. Um, so, a first level spell is 10 minutes, a second level spell is 20. Yeah. It's, it, there is some time spent in um, study or contemplation. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. Excellent. Much to my disgust. Um, Cool. Nothing like a random encounter to kill someone yeah. that we haven't planned for. Alright, I'm going to cover the fire. We'll put her out first and cover it and leave. Yep, cool. Yeah. Heading northwest. Keep heading the same way. Yep, following. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, give me a d12. Yep. So 12. Ooh. I don't know if that's good or Ooh. bad when I roll this one. Ooh. I don't think it's good. Give me a percentage roll. Wow. So the blue one's the big one. Yep. 89. That's okay. Revolution That's right. number like nine. That one's good. Um, it's about midday and you're sitting down just to have a, a bite to eat and yeah. a flock of crows fly and head northwest. Oh, that can't be good. So, be on high alert and look down southeast. To see what's where they come from. You look from. up and you watch them fly. Yeah. 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 Try to see where they've come from. If there's they've any come evidence. from anywhere but northwest. Yeah, they've yeah. just flown over you. Okay. Yeah, down, it's fair call. Just walking. Yeah, and they vanish off into the distance after a few minutes, and then all subsides. Um, I'm gonna. Can I see anything? No. Okay. Now we can do. Continue. So you continue on, and about four ish, you start to look for another camp. This trail that you're on, it's, or the track you was on, it's um, fast to be, become more like a, a goat track now. Okay. As you're almost exploring the, the hills naked, so to speak, you're off road. Ah. <clears throat> well, proceed with caution, but you know, not like. Yep. Right, yep. So you're going to look for end of the. It's nearing the end of the second day. You're going to look for a camp spot. Yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, tell me what you're doing. Well, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll go second. Same watch. Same watch. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Apart from a chill wind that blows a, along the hills, nothing passes. Excellent. Well, you know, put the fire out, same as the day yeah, before. Yeah. If there was one lit, and uh, make our way on up the hill. This pearl is track. getting warmer and warmer as you're getting closer mm -hmm. to where you think it's taking you. How and warm are we talking, like? When uh, near it? Well, it's hard to gauge. It's magic, isn't it? And you've not been holding it, so Mr. Fog Whistle has been. How does it feel, Mr. Fog Whistle? Is this thing burning your hand yet? Getting hotter or what? and hotter. It's not quite burning, but it's very hot. Well, do you think it might be wise to proceed with some stealth? Mm. Yeah, I do. Slow, each, slow your pace. Uh -huh. Well, you know, if it's, you know, this is what I mean. It depends on how warm this thing's meant to get. But yeah, I think slowing our pace, I mean, you know, half movement, but still. Yeah. We're going up a rickety old track, and you sure. know, we don't know what we're going to come into. It's obviously not It's in the hills, so it's not mountains. You said goat track. Yeah, 
to go track that's leading you're pretty well walking through the hills on your own really. okay uh well I don't know do we want to go stealth still no 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 Onward and upward, standard pace. Cool, alright, so off you go for another day. Um, I hope you've crossed off your rations again. Mm -hmm. Pirate Steve tells you now, Mr. Fog Whistle, that he hasn't eaten for two days. Oh, damn. Okay. He gets tired. Oh, I, I you forgot to bring rations, Mr. Fog Whistle. I didn't want to bother <laughs> you with it earlier, but I, my belly's growling. Give him, I'm going to give him four rations. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fog Whistle. It's my pleasure. Well, like, in fact, no, he'd just say, oh, just give me one for now. That's all I need. I'll give you one for now, Steve. But right, should we camp you. again? Mm. Yeah, and corks a bottle of rum and takes a sweet from it and offers you a drink. Oh, all right, Mr. Foggers, I'll have a big drink. You're a good friend. Thank you. I'll just have a little because I know how much you appreciate it, mate. Thank and you. He says, oh, you're even better, friend. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll pass the bottle back, give him his ration. Excellent. A gentle nod there. Because Pirate Steve is a dickhead. He's pretty disorganised. That's cute. He's, yeah, he's, so got, he's got a bottle he's to drink. He's still alive sometimes. I should have bought him a few bottles. I didn't even think of it. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's got some coin, dude. He's never short of a bottle. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Don't, you, don't forget yeah. that at all for a moment. All right, so you head off on your day three. Yep. All righty. Give me a D12. I'll do that. Five. Cool. Cool. And it's beginning to come late afternoon and come over the crest of a hill and see so into almost not so much a smaller valley but just a lot of smaller hills all located around, almost like you've come up a yeah, big one into a rolling set of smaller hills and yeah. um, the pearl Starts to feel, starts to pulse in your hand. Right. Well, let's, let's just have a look around. Might do a full 360 and see what's in our horizon there. Yeah. So, how far out are you searching and who is searching? Right, at the moment, I'm just going to do a cursory 60. I'm going to tell everybody look, this thing's pulsing, just see if we can see anything and sort of work from there, you know. I'm just going to do a 360, look as far as I can. See if there's any points of interest. Oh yes, yeah, so if all right, so you um, you've come you're at the crest of that rise, and so you can see in front of you mm. is a a long set of rolling hills. Right, rolling right. hills. Yeah. Right. And the pearl starts to pulse mm. in your hand. Well, I'll see if I can triangulate it, or you know, like move a certain direction, see if it pulses any. No, it's just. You move how, like how far, 10, 20, 30 yeah, feet, sure. and it, it's still pulsing okay. the same, so... What if it's a mirage? A mirage? What if things the aren't as they seem? Oh, it could be. Yeah, at the moment I'm trying to work out how to... Because it's pulsing. How to follow it, like... It's pulsing, so what, what, what if... But that's its design, isn't it, like... Yeah. So it's not been pulsing in your hands since yeah. you've held it. It's yeah. just been slowly getting warmer. Yeah. Like you, you feel a heat and then as you're walking, when you're coming north up the road, you walk straight past the, the mine track uh -huh. and that's when its temperature dropped quite a bit. It's like, oh, and then you're coming back and it's getting yep. warmer. Yep. And then now it's so pulsing. So yeah, we're very... You, you know by trial and error very quickly because of the... Hints that the pearl is yep. giving you as to yep. where you're going. Yep. Uh, well, if I can't see any particular direction to go, let's just go north. I mean, if there's nothing yeah, that you stands continue out. Continue northwest in. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Any different? Just keep walking until it changes. Well, I feel it just pulses. You've gone 30 feet mm. and come back to the guys, and it's it's still pulsing the same. No, but I mean, just keep walking for keep a walking. bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. How far? Oh, like 200 foot at least. Yep. So you're about halfway through these rolling hills. Yeah. Just in a straight line. Yeah. And it's still pulsing. Yes, yeah. it's, it's pulsing. Well, that it's doesn't same, help yeah. much at all. Just have we have to look around and see why it's. I mean, do we just continue to the northwest? 
it's pretty vague really. It's a big area too, 200 foot, and mm. it's still pulsing, so it's not like it's going to like right on top of it, so I don't know. About 70 meters. There is no X that marks the treasure map. Usually, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Magic is. Uh, so as I'm. Is you know magic is is magic. Yeah. You know. As I'm walking, I'm just looking to see if there's any point of interest or recently, you know, like. All right. Something so out of the ordinary. Check now. Yeah. Excellent. Someone's actually saying they're looking for something. Twenty plus fucking. You roll a twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's how we play this out. Twenty one. Uh, so you go about forty feet off off the northern path you were sort of taking yeah. and you walk past a few of these hills and then something catches you out the corner of your eye and you turn to the left and on the far side of one of these hills yeah. is a stone archway oh, well, there you are. covered in pictures of trees and flowers and there's an elven maiden carved into the middle. Gee, alright. Well, head that direction. Can you read it? Maybe stealth it, even. I don't know. Can you cast that cantrip? Just, uh, an extra picture into the star. Oh. Because that's like an hour, or eight hours, eight hours. What cantrip are you talking about? Light, light. light. Yeah, yeah, I could cast that. Just put it, hour. put it on my, yeah, now. Put it on the Warhammer. Mm-hmm. Ding. Yeah. Because at the moment, my default is Warhammer shield. No, I'll carry at my the moment, your default great is axe. Pearl and shield and has been for oh, yeah, fair days. call. No, fair call, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fair call. Um, but yeah, he cast it on your Warhammer, hanging from a belt loop on your yeah. big manly belt. Yeah, probably, yeah that's good. That's and just continue to the arch, but do so at stealth. So I'm, I'm yeah. moving at stealth now. Now you are. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um, you can roll a stealth roll then. So, nice. D20, mate. 17. Ooh. 4. Plus your stealth bonus. 17 would be plenty, I'm sure. <coughs> so, the, well, it's an average, so and it's fucked your average up. So, yeah. what did you get, Tom? 17 total. Yeah. You probably have 19. 19, yeah, yeah. plus 2. Mm. So, ask Daryl. He knows everything. Um, your average pulls it down a bit, but, um, yeah, so you, you signal the guys, and they stealthily creep up to the door, you don't so much, um, yeah, no doubt, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're looking at this door, and you notice, <coughs> when you're standing right in front of it, it's stone embedded into the, the hill, in between, like, a hard, rocky outcrop, yeah, of other stone, and you notice the woman's wearing a necklace, mm -hmm. in the shape of a teardrop, okay, and there's actually a, in relief, is the shape of Teardrop in the stone. Mm. Oh. You recognise the teardrop. Is it the same as on the other? That's great, yeah. Yeah. So the, the brooch of shame, the the jewel of shame from our previous encounter with Skexus. That's right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what that would be. Well. Glad you remember. No worries. Oh, it's. Uh, the moment, the, the Damn hard Marcus Gexus, yes, yeah. who can forget the cup of shame? Right. Of course, that here you sing. Yeah, yes. that's deep, right. Deep drink from that cup. Mm. <clears throat> <sighs> yes, brooch of shame. All right, so yeah, proceed with caution. I was going to look at the whole relief first and see if it, you know. Yeah, it's um, beautifully engraved. Even um, it, it appears like it should be weathered, but it's not. It's yeah. You know, uh, beautiful and grey trees, flowers, and a fair elven maiden. Beautiful. With long hair in the middle. With Let's the see. Necklace and the, the teardrop in the bass relief. Advance in party order. What's your AC in here? So, points? what are you doing? You're standing 14, in front 26. Of the oh, no, going in. Huh? Yeah, like, I've looked at it. You're 14 AC, 26 hit points over. So what are you doing? I need to know what you're doing. Advancing in party order. Okay, yeah, there's a stone door in front of you. Dude. Oh, right, sorry. Um, open, see, see if I can open the door. But it's good to know that you're in party order. Yeah, Excellent. that's half of it. Can I open the door? Uh, it doesn't appear to be a hand door. Okay. Uh, do I still have the... I use the, the term door loosely. 
Sure. Yeah, it, it looks more like a stone wall. Can is I look around for any sort of mechanism or magical inscriptions yeah, or anything? Yeah, investigation, yeah. Yeah. 12 plus... Two, so 14. You don't really notice anything hidden on it apart from, but you're more caught up by the loveliness of um, whoever spent the time to carve this out. It's so, work. given my previous encounter with, I still have the brooch of shame, don't I? That's not? correct, yeah. yeah. is there any way that that could perhaps. It does, uh, the woman's necklace yeah. is in yeah. exactly the shame well, shape. There's, and there's it's your actually answer. carved in. Yes. Do it. There's your answer right there. So, do it. I, I, um, with my super ability of putting shit in holes, I just <laughs> do it again. That's what she said. Yeah. Bring that bell, man. I love it. Wow. Thanks for coming. Thank so, yeah, no, I, I, yes, so I put the brooch of shame into the receptacle. It takes it. Yeah. That's what and then, <laughs> from little things, big things grow. That's right. right. That's it. Uh, Spots of light. Place for a fucking pick band. Mm. <clears throat> Stone wall. Hitting the trees, the tree leaves, the flowers, the maiden, her hair, and until the whole, we'll say door, um, is, you can't see the carving anymore, it's all light, and all of a sudden there's a, a suck of air, and the light dissipates, and your badge of office huh. falls to the dirt on the ground. Okay. Pick it up. Excellent. Yeah. And proceed forward. Very cool. In party order. Yep. Indeed. Now, what is yep. your party order now? So, the way I've been doing it, I'm here. Um, Parrot Steve. And are you going there? Well, I was next to you last time. Parrot yeah. Steve was behind. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You're like 18 so. anyway, aren't you? AC. Yeah. So next to Steve behind the other guy. Oh, like there, you reckon? Um, it doesn't matter how it's going to go. Yeah. Alright, so that's our party order. You can go to the side closest to you if you want. Bob. You're too far back. All you need to do is be behind the front line. That's it. Hey guys, it's time for the Pirate Steve Fan Club. Nice! <laughs> 